Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping and the breeze is blowing and I feel like cooking something, so let's do this. Okay, hey y'all. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me to make a sweet potato bread video. So I decided I will. Um, there I have some egg whites whipping. Let me give you two tips about egg whites. Number one, make sure there's no grease. No grease anywhere. No grease on the whip. No grease in the bowl. No grease. And also, the egg yolks are greasy. So make sure there's no egg yolk in there. Uh, they will not whip with grease. Um, what happens is the grease coats the little molecules and it won't allow air to uh, to get in you know what I mean and then then in in doing that if you if you don't allow the air in well then you're not gonna have fluffy egg whites uh, okay so no grease and also room temperature if the egg whites are room temperature ooh, they work much better all right so there went a bunch of stuff I'll put the ingredients down in description there went some flour some uh, cinnamon, oil, the egg, uh, the egg yolks, uh, a bunch of stuff, some water, and I don't know what else, I forget already. Um, but anyway, that goes in there. Mix that up until it's well incorporated. All right, now you're going to fold in the egg whites. The egg whites have to be folded in in three different applications. You can put them all in at once, good luck. You'll find out real quickly why you don't put them in all at once. <laughs> you put them in in three applications. The first application softens up the batter. You know, it, it makes it a little more fluid. The second does it again. And the third, by the time you get to the third, it's very easy to add the, the uh, egg whites to it. Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're folding it in. Do not use the machine for this. The machine will will flatten all the bubbles in the egg whites and that's defeating the whole purpose you want bubbles in the egg whites so that this stuff will be fluffier you know you're adding you're adding air into the mix that's what exactly what you're doing with the egg whites all right so anyway uh, there you go mix them in there nice slow get them in there mixed um, don't don't forget no grease and room temperature and you will have successful egg whites every single time also no egg yolk in the egg white the egg yolk has oil in it and the oil will prevent them from whipping from uh, forming stiff peaks all right there goes the third and last bit of egg white there we go um, you know when I cut this stuff as it came out of the oven, I'll show you here in a minute. When I cut it, uh, it uh, it reminded me of the uh, Italian uh, anise biscotti. You know the biscotti, the cookies, the licorice flavored cookies that the Italians make. Uh, that's what it re it reminded me of, and um, so I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. I, I cut. Uh, one of the loaves and I put it into the dehydrator I'll show you here coming up in a minute uh, I mean it can't be bad if you know the worst that can happen is you'll have to dunk it in coffee to, to eat it you know but uh, it can't be bad so I figured what the heck why not give it a try uh, the other loaf I have you know set on the side I'm gonna put it in the freezer and uh, there you go oh baby oh mama all right, now, hey, if this biscotti thing works out, I'm going to have to give all the credit to the person who asked me to to uh, do the video. I forget her name right now. I'm very sorry. I forgot your name. But I know who it is. All right, so there we go. Now, there we go. Oh, man, that stuff is good, man. So, see, if you were going to use this, you know, along with the... Uh, with you know the doughboy uh, biscuits like on Thanksgiving well you have to let it cool 
pretty pretty well because it's very uh, delicate right now. You know, I mean, if you put that in a basket with other biscuits, oh man, I'm afraid it would break apart. So you'd have to make it up maybe even the day ahead and put it in a basket with other biscuits. Then you'd probably be okay. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, wait a minute. I put in a couple more things in the in the dehydrator just to keep the lid off the bread. Uh, watch. See, there's a little bit of egg white there that didn't get folded in, which you know that's no big deal. I mean, it's not gonna it's not gonna harm anything. There we go. All right, perfect. Now you know what? You might be able to find this stuff somewhere else around town. 